Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, Michaela Space. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I take my hair from this to this for my natural hair reset. So if y'all are interested, keep watching. I'm working on the intro, y'all bear with me. If y'all are familiar with my channel, y'all know I had that Trey Song snippet um, of Can't Help But Wait in my intro. And yeah, we know Trey Song is a bad, bad man. So anyway, as y'all can see, I'm just taking out my hair, getting ready to do this reset. Like I said, my hair was in a wash and go. Not really, cause I didn't wear it as that. But I really did just wash my hair and put the product in and just let it be for the week. I didn't sleep with the bonnet. I didn't sleep with a scarf. I didn't do nothing. So my hair um, is pretty matted. My hair gets matted easily. So I'm kind of scared um, about this process that I'm going to have to go through. But I've been there, done that. And yeah, I'm just going to show y'all what I do when I get my hair like this. And when I need to just, you know, give it some TLC and start it over for the week so as y'all can see i'm showing y'all some of the stuff that i use so pretty much i use just a bottle of water with conditioner in it my green shower comb for detangling and my favorite oil um a little reference to my last video oh <laughs> i just looked at my face yeah that shit hurt it hurts. I'm very tender at it. I could, I could feel the pain right now just looking at this video. <laughs> but, oh my gosh. But anyway, what was I even saying? Hold on. Okay, I remember now. Um, refer in reference to my last video, I was telling y'all about the products that I use and how like I can pretty much, you know, reactivate the products for my hair and. I don't have to add anything else to my hair once I have that the products that I used in and most specifically is the coconut and hibiscus curling gel souffle that really does that for me so you're gonna see that all I'm gonna do is just spray the water in my hair um, really squeeze it through my hair to reactivate that product and it's gonna melt my tangles away um very very easily but as i go through detangling my hair y'all can see i pretty much do it the same way that i do any style i start from the back and work to the top and yeah i section off the bottom part first so i'm sectioning off the bottom part and i'm splitting it in two it, it literally looks like how i do my wash and go routine um and you're gonna watch this first section in real time just for it to be more thorough. You can see every step um, and just see how long it see how long it takes in real time. Sorry if I'm kind of repetitive. Um, I'm not good with words sometimes. But I get my towel because I'm going to be spraying a lot of water. I don't dampen my hair. My hair is wet um, when I do this. I'm spraying, 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 spraying. Um, I like to concentrate it in the roots because that's where I experience the most tangling and matting. And the looser I can get those tangles with water, the easier the detangling process will be. And like I said, I like it wet where the water is dripping um damp is just gonna if my hair is just damp or dry my hair is gonna break off so um i spray and i start off with fingerling fingerling what the heck finger oh i'm about to say something else <laughs> finger detangling my hair <laughs> i start off by finger detangling my hair um because that'll make it easier for the comb and it will hurt less once I finger detangle my hair. And then I go in with my green shower comb and you'll see that in real time. I really like to take my time and not be too rough with my hair because the more gentle I am and the less I rush, the easier it is. Um, I have time to spare so it's worth it so my hair is not breaking off and um i have like five ball spots in my head just because i want to rush through it so i really do 
focus on those tangles and if like I do run into any big tangles um I make sure I really go through thoroughly and not just like rip through my hair and if I do need more water I spray more water don't be scared of water water and conditioner um it's really a elite combo So now that I got that finger detangling prep out the way, I go in with my comb, start from the bottom and work my way to the top. And as I can see, the comb is pretty much sliding through. I'm always gonna run into some tangles if I don't use the comb and I only finger detangle, but it's way easier and it's not hurting as I put that comb through my head. Cause as y'all can see, as I was trying to section off my hair, it was painful. So just going through detangling um, with my fingers and using a lot a lot a lot of water will make this process easier and like i said reactivate the old product that i had in my head So the point of this is a reset. So once I have like my hair detangled and that you, I can feel the product in my hair um, doing its job, I decide like what style I'm gonna do. So from here, I technically can go back into another wash and go. I can do a braid out. I could do a flexi rod set. I've probably done a flexi rod set once in my life, but it's just an option. I usually go with twists. Twists are my go-to um, twist or braids but since um, I have that product in my hair and I keep talking about that product but I don't use it often I only use it for wash and go so when I do use it and then I do a different style I want to make sure like I'm taking advantage of it it's, it's hard to explain but anyway I go to twist so um, I do like medium size twist too small it take too long and too big it it will look frizzy a lot faster so i'm just gonna go with the medium size twist though that can last one or two weeks i don't know how long i'm leaving these in this is day what's today today is thursday i'm i filmed this sunday so i'm like on day five and my hair still looks pretty pretty good so yeah i usually go with twist um like i said y'all can do whatever but that was pretty much like the foundation of the reset and yeah i'm going to show you all this one section in real time of doing the twist and then it'll go into a time lapse and yeah i'll see y'all when like everything else is done
I am back. My hair is done. I forgot how long it took. I don't think it took that long. It probably took at most, I want to say an hour and 15 minutes. That's long, That's how long it usually takes. But I think my hair looked really good. Um, it was shiny. It usually looks really dry, but <laughs> my hair actually looked good um, and like smooth as well. But I take some oil for my scalp and to seal my hair. I know some people are anti-oil on the scalp. <laughs> it's for different reasons. Some people take that out of context, but it's okay to use oil on your scalp. Just don't think like, oh, me adding oil on my scalp, six drops of oil on my scalp is gonna make my hair grow. And like, that's all I gotta do is just add oil to my scalp. No, it's a whole hair care process, but oil is, definitely necessary for me at least but i put the oil on my scalp and on my strands of hair just to seal everything in and yeah that's pretty much it i think i do my edges let's see do i do my edges i'm just looking at myself for some reason look stupid yep there i go about to do my edges yeah, yep, get in there. Yep, mm-hmm. Man, my face is really be blowing me. It's embarrassing. But she's pretty, though. She's definitely pretty. But yeah, that's it. If y'all have any questions or comments, don't forget to comment down below. Thank y'all for watching. I appreciate y'all. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see y'all. Why did I wave bye and I'm not going nowhere? Anyway, so stupid. Anyway, I'll see y'all in the next video.